Right, I'm back on with this one again. I uh, don't know if you notice, but it's upside down. That's not the sky. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to come in here and darken this up. I said I'd come back to this one and put some sheeps in, a few water lines, some bods, and just finish it off. So I decided this hill here wants to be a tiny bit darker. So I'm just sort of going to do a bit on that then. Right, so come in here with a bit of just water. Let's see how I go. So I've got some blue here. Some really dark blue. Well, actually, it's quite a light blue, but I've got an ear on my brush. A bit of blue. That's it in there. And then a bit more water on this brush. Let's melt it across. There we are. Same across here. Some water in there. Now across. Bum, 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 bum. Let's get some purple. Add a bit of purple into this blue now. A bit more purple. Oh, that's nice. Nice dark colour there. Nice dark purple. And he did do because there's a bit of purple in that sky, you see? So if I put some purple in, I know it's gonna blend nicely. There we are. Bit of purple, bit of blue. Oh, let's go into this. Looks like a really dark green colour now. Pop into that. Into me brush with just water on, keep swapping brushes, and I'm just gonna soften that in right up to the top there. There, it's nice. Um right, let's come across here and just into here. Put some of that dark green in there as well. Purple into it, into there, and oh, some more up blue and all right up into there. Keep varying colours across. And we are some more of this dark green. Let's have some of this dark green right in this bottom bit here, I think. That's it. There, I think. Just gonna bring that back again. Let some of these colours run around a bit. Yeah, if I look at this, it's pretty dark. So I'll come across the top of there with that, dip in a bit of water, soften it out a bit. There, let me tip that back upside down again. Just to let the colours keep Swilling about. So I'm back into this blue colour. Like the blue colour. D D D. Quite a lot of water on here now. I think I'll come right at the top now with water. Flow round a bit. We're doing its own thing, right? So now I suppose now that's on and flowing. I can add to it. So add some more blue in there. Add some more purple in there. Some more blue back in there. Some of these dark green colours in and about, here and bar and everywhere. Some more purple. And a bit more of this blue colour right in there. Alright. Put that back. I'm just going to take this now and just swill it round. So I'm just swilling it about now. Probably say it that way. Let it drip that way a bit. Swilling it down, in round and about everywhere. Come on, nice, no, sorry. Oh, I'll pop it that way. I'll pop it that way. And swill it back to the way. 
looking nice there is. Might take a while to dry, but I've got my coffee. Mm. So I don't care. What I could do. Might. Yeah, let's do it. Let's darken this one here a bit more as well. So, which brushes me one with paint on. That one, or that one. That one, I think. Right, let's get some more paint on. More blue in here. Let's see, a bit more of this purple. There we are. A bit of that green. There, there. And then just soften, I think. Soften it up. This one's a bit brighter. I don't need quite as much. That's it. Took a clean brush now. Just watch her on this brush now. Soften it through. Into there. Up here. Tiny bit just in there, not too much. There. That's it. And then I think back that way, back that way, perhaps. Let's get a gentle dry. in some of these little bang bits here. Dee dee dee, seem to a bit of that. Me, and my blues and my purples again. So that's dark green. think just come into some of these bits here as well and just we'll just get some highlights in, and some not highlights some low lights into some of these rocks and stuff in here so that help some blues and some purples and stuff little tiny bits Bits. Not too much. A bit in here. Oh. Just pull that in a bit more. And then thinking, let's get that brush out of the way. 
Let's get the little rigger brush and pop in just a few dark grasses. So we've got some of them light grasses there. So stick in a couple of dark ones. Less is more with this. I can do less, and I will. Tiny bits. Less is more. There we are. What's that? <laughs> That's that. That was all the way the other way. Right. Okay, I'll let that dry. While that's drying, this is definitely dry. Yeah, we need some sheep in. Let me just stand back and have a look. Yeah, that's looking nice. So I need some distant sheep in here, I think. So my eyes sort of come in, in here, I suppose, over to there. So I suppose if my sheep sort of dot about go over to there, perhaps, I think. Let's get a smaller brush. These sheep, they're quite, I try that brush, I just use. These sheep are quite small. Dee, 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 dee. Right, let's have a look. See what we can do. Really strong white colour, so I'd say there's some sheep just sort of dotted in here. Say there's one about there. Oh, my light's coming in this way, one there. If they do come over here, they're going to get bigger as they're coming over here. So I want there, a bigger one. Dee dee dee. And there we can have one. And there. Oh, just dotting them about. Something like that. That don't look bad. That's probably enough, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so, let me give this a quick little blast with dry. Quick blast whip dry it because that white always fades back a bit. So, right on the edges here, where the sun's coming in, right on edges, I'm going to give them all a little tweak just for that little bit of sparkle where the sun's hitting them all. Just right on edges there. There. Perfect. Right now, uh, what have I done with my rigger, rigger brush? Get this rigger brush. Right, got some water lines in here. This is just that bit of sparkle where it waters it in land. Often get a little bit of sparkle there. So that's what I'm putting in there. Oh, a little tiny bit of sparkle in there. See how it's all gradually coming together now? To sparkle. Oh, yeah. In it, in it, in it, in it. There we are. A bit of a line coming across there, look. That's it. And um, let's have a little bit of a line coming across. Let's say there. I've got to keep it vertical. That's it. And then maybe it's, well, that's that one about there as well. That's nice. Now as that dries, I might have to go over that because, um, like I say, it tends to fade back a bit. Oh, I'm telling you what I will do. Nah. Um, 
yeah do it now pop a few highlights on some of these rocks so the lights coming in this way so just a couple of highlights where it lights it in some of these rocks look A little bit, it's not too much. Don't go mentals with it. The tiny little highlights. Don't need to do every single rock. A few little bits. There. That's it enough. That'll fade back a bit as well. Right. Um, <laughs> need some uh, shadow colours now. So let's get where's that little one again that's it this is it get my little brush and start looking at some shadow colors so if i get a bit purple and a bit of blue mix that together all right and then pop that into a bit of green as well so i get a bit of mixture of all three right so now uh, Oh, you know what? I'm going to give that a quick blast with dry. I just don't want to put me on that. Like I don't want to smudge out. Right, let's sit in there looking. Yeah, them sheep look alright, don't they? Thick. Checking it rate size. Right, so, yeah, this in. And my sheeps are sort of coming across like that. There, my shadows off my sheeps. Something like that across there. Do, dee, 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 dee. Something like that. You also my little shadows coming off my sheeps. So that's like that. To me, that looks pretty good, I think. So then, into my blue with purple. I'm just going to come in and just come up one side with my sheeps like that. that's it so I got my darkest at the front I could do with my reading glasses on well over here put my so I've got my dark, darkest bit of the front there and then as I've gone back the shadow colour's probably gone slightly fadier. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that's looking alright to me. Um, probably put some little black bits in and get an even smaller brush. Some little black dots in for the heads. That's, that's a small one. Some little black dots for sheep's heads. Right, so let's uh that one looks like it's got an head there. That one probably there. Let's have one there on that one. That one can be there. That one can be there. That one's there, look. Uh, that one there. There we are. That's my heads on my sheep. Um, Let's pop. That's looking better, isn't it, that? Let's pop in Peter and Paul. I'm going to do them. Where shall we have them? Let's have them here. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to do them quite big today. That's Peter. Hello, Pierre. It's Paul. You know what? I'm going to have a third one. Peter, Paul. And Hilda. And let's have one more up here. All out looking for worms. Peter, Paul, and Hilda. They're all looking for worms. That one's going to turn around into wind. Oh, uh, right. So, 
Oh, let me need that. Need one more thing. Bertie D. Bertie D. B. Look how artistic I'm doing that. B. D. Bertie D. Oh, uh, there we are. And that's just took that little painting, what we a sketch. Just turned it into a masterpiece. Isn't it? Might be getting a little bit carried away with masterpiece, but yeah, it's just took it, made it a little bit more interesting, put a little bit more to it. And uh, quite happy with that. So, a little pond, some sheeps and stuff. Nice free dimensional thing. You've got this nice contract here between the light and the dark. So it's like light up. A lot, a lot of paintings are in watercolour. I start light at the back and just come darker and darker. But this got that, that's in sort of silhouette. That's in silhouette a bit, but that one's really in silhouette. I think the light's sort of coming in this way and that. Innit? So, see the old beach. In it.